Oh. oh. We're, get, we're getting, what, where's what? the phone? Oh, it's Kailani. Hello? Sam just called me. He told me he was on his way. Was, uh, on his way to where? He took an Uber, and he's driving towards the house. Jesus. Uh, okay, well, we're just leaving the hotel, so we'll just get over there quickly. I, I really don't want to meet him alone. No, 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 we'll be there soon. Okay. Bye. Whoa. All of a sudden, that's he's weird. Ubering. That's weird. We better get there fast, son. Yeah, I mean, I, he's on his way there. If he gets there before us, we could be in big trouble. I wish we had a siren. I know, we need a catfish. Put up on the roof. Oh, my gosh. No, just like a weird pin. That's somewhere in, in this area. Start honking your horn. Must be one of these houses right here, because this is like where the pin is. Do you want me to text him like we're oh. here? Wait, just... I thought I just you saw that person? Wait, what? I thought I just saw somebody like behind that fence, sort of sneaky looking. Like crouching down. What the f I mean, I guess we could just wait, look and see if that's the house. Wait, I'm not getting out, okay? You don't want to get out yet. Uh-uh. All right, you stay here. Okay. Let me see if someone's in there. Dog. I got a message. You did? Are you at the blue house? Yes. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not getting out yet. Charlene. This, it's now or never, girl. Okay, stay, stay over there. Somewhere. Are you ready? How you doing? Uh, I'm nervous, really nervous. nervous. Okay, well that's that's okay. We're I think we're all a little nervous. Who is he talking to? I don't know. Why don't you come out? What's that by me? What? Hi. What's up? I'm Cammy. Maya. Maya? Maya, yeah. Nice to meet you. And this, uh, as you know, is Charlene. Yeah. So, James, is that is he a real? real? No. Okay. Is it you? Yeah. So it's been you the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why did you do this to me? I mean, um, you basically wasted my time coming out here. I have a little boy. Yeah. Let's go in here. Okay. Just so you don't have to feel like everybody's looking at you. Do you live here in Tuba City? Yeah, I live here and in Zuni. Okay, and so you are Zuni. Uh, half Navajo, half Zuni. Half Navajo, half Zuni. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 18. You're a youngin. I'm way older than you. And oh my gosh, this is weird. Are those little girls real? And the daughters that James had died. Are, th are those? No. It's a thing to lie about. Yeah, I would never lie about my son dying. Like that part you should have never said. I know. How did you come up with all these lies? You talked about keys, you talked about dying, you talked about a lot of stuff. I cried, I literally cried. When I did that, that was of me trying to let that profile die down. And I tried shutting it down, but I couldn't really let it go and everything because I, ha I would have no one else to talk to. And when did you start the James profile? I, roughly, I could say about two years ago, after my sister passed away from drinking. That's when that James profile came in, that love. I, mean, I was missing that love, that affection, that comfort from somebody. So what was the profile mostly talking to women or, or men or? Both, just to create a friendship and to create um, a bond. Shirlene tells us that she thought you guys were in a romantic relationship. Is that how it felt for you? Or you thought this was kind of like your boyfriend? Yeah. You guys were sharing I love yous. You said right. I love you well, after yeah, a month. But you know, like best friends can say that too. They say like, oh, I love you. Well, yous. right, but when a, when a hot guy tells a cute girl I love you, it means something different than when two best buddy girlfriends say I love you. Yeah. So for her, that I love you meant a lot more. Yeah. And you knew that. Yeah. You had to know that. Yeah. If you want to be mad and frustrated with me, oh, that I, 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 I understand that. I, 
I just did it because I was missing that love and affection. You know, you were that person that was there to listen to what I had to say. I told you things that I never even told nobody. I never even told my family, my friends, nothing. And when my sister passed away, I was put in foster care. I grew up in part of that too. That shit was rough, man. Like, they took my little brother away from me. They took a lot of things away from me. I'm really sorry. I really wanted to tell you, but I never got that courage to, to tell you. So I don't know what your feelings are and what you're comfortable talking about, but I'm willing to, to bet that you do have feelings for her. No. When we talked, it, it's like she's really there to listen and I, that, that, that's what I liked about her, that she can listen, she's caring, she's loving, she's smart. But it was like a friendship. Ooh. Oh, here we are. We're here. I'm scared. Let's do it. Oh, nervous. Find a nice little quiet corner back here. It's a little quiet corner. All right. So now we wait. <laughs> I'm nervous. See a guy over here. No. Don't do that. Shirtless man. I think this guy's walking this way. You better not walk. Stay over there with your dog. I like your dog, though. Nice dog. Oh, OK, he's, he's, he's cool. just taking a dog for a walk. Yo, yeah. my heart is actually <laughs> My heart is going. Look at this guy. I swear, no, dude. Oh, it's no. not, it's not. It's no way yet. I've seen Guy before, so I have hope you seen him before? I've seen him before. I, I better Wait, not be him. Where, how do you, where have you seen that guy before? Just like living in LA. No. Seriously? I swear it better not be that guy. Don't come <laughs> over here, dude. I swear. Y'all are kidding, bro. Hello. Hi. Oh Hi. my Hi. gosh, bro. What's your name? Dude. William. William. Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi. Bro. Hi. I'm Tallulah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet no, you. bro. So I knew it was some bullshit. <laughs> this is beyond but me. But hold on, bro. wait. Let's just get an explanation. So what's going on? I saw him a few times on like around town, slut walk a few times, and some Amber Rose events. Okay, so so you have some some mutual social yeah, circles. Yeah, seen him a few times. And I was like, you know, I thought he was a really hot guy, and he's posting all these photos of his like ass on Instagram and Tumblr and whatever. And I was with my friend Safari. And and we were on social media drunk, and she was like, you should totally DM him. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I couldn't do such a thing. Like, I don't think he's gay. She's like, well, just look at how he's posting his photos on Instagram. He's got an OnlyFans page that he uses to, you know, target the gay community. Wait a second, OnlyFans, what's that? Dallas is always posting his nudes. Um, you can subscribe to his stuff. And people subscribe. And he'll post special, special content. content. Do you have subscribers? Yeah. And Safari so said, like, why don't I just give him my number? So and then deep, it's really your number. Who was he texting with? Me. Todd. But then why approach him as a woman? I feel like girls can make a guy feel comfortable. Like, let's say a threesome or a foursome. You know, I could have been that fourth person in his threesome. That's weird, bro. I'm sorry. So you asked about a threesome. He even said he would be down. Then you suggested the roommate, not you. But he was okay with that. Why not suggest yourself or then say, okay, Safari, let's go meet him. Like, why not see if it actually could happen? We were gonna do that. And then Catfish came out of nowhere. Okay. So the plan was to eventually to, get to, to that. Cause it, it, oh. these guys are so, <laughs> like these guys are the so. Me, bro. Most of his fans are gay. But then it got then nothing to do with my, what I like. It kind of feels like you're trying to blame him for the fact that you lied no, and pretended to be something. I'm not pretending to be someone. You've been pretending to be Safari for two months. You a catfish catfish, bro. No. This is so no, Wait a second. No, no, but you, no, no, but no, no, surely, so, wait, but surely you, you understand <laughs> that it still feels like you don't think you did anything wrong. I didn't do anything maliciously. I wasn't asking for money. That's true. 
So if I wasn't doing none of those things, I don't feel like in a sense of I was doing any harm. We didn't mean for hit someone to call catfish. Just ask me, be like, bro, you get, you get down. I'd be like, no, it would have ended it right there. Dallas, calm bro, down. Bro, like, I'm sorry. If you're, if you you're understand not, why he's allowed yeah. to have his feelings. If, I understand that like, he's okay you know. to have that feeling, but he, if he's not Weird, gay, like, then I, why I, do you sell like, to the community and make money off like the community? But I think that's a really unfair argument because I think that then you're making okay. a decision for him. I okay. think that you can kind of say that, like, you know, if well, it could go both ways. girls dress in a certain LA. way, then that means something about them. I think it's fair to say that it's, it would be easy to interpret his social media presence as someone who might so be bisexual or whatever. Yes, okay. of course. I still don't think that uh, makes what? it okay, it's, though. We were going to go to find out where Dallas lives, arrange a date, and to talk to him about the situation, get him comfortable. Okay. But, but he wanted but to meet up so bad. Why not meet up all these people? I already no. knew you mutually. You should just be like, yo, let's Because I wanted like... to do it with Safari, but she was always gone. So she's just not in LA all. Yeah, I so don't the want to do it by was... myself. We were supposed to all hang okay. out and talk. She's going to introduce me right. as her friend. Right. And, and then, then he's from there... Like, and then from there, she would have faded off away eventually, and then me and him would have got on a personal relationship. Who knows what if it happened? But now we have... Not that! Tell us, come on. I apologize if it came off wrong. Um, Safari can tell you her side of the story. Where is Safari? Safari is at her friend's house. In LA or is she in Arizona? In LA. She is in LA. If you want to talk to her about it. Okay, great, so she's here. I, I mean, I, yeah, I would like to hear from her. I will go and call Safari and send you guys the address. All right, so Just text new. us where to meet you and, and Safari. Okay, for sure, I will. All right, thanks. That's crazy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go wait for him in the lobby. Okay. All, right. All right, see you guys in a second. This is it, man. Finally get an opportunity to meet who James is. Is this what you envisioned? No, not at all. I didn't think that there, there were gonna be many lies. Especially this many. Especially type like this, it just, it's, it threw me off a little bit. Oh, someone's here. Is this him? Are you James? Hi. Is he okay? He is, but is very eager to figure out what's going on. Yeah, man, you, uh, yeah, you've been through a lot there, man. Are you okay? Maybe. Is he gonna be pretty surprised, I guess? Yeah. Well, why don't you come on back and we'll see how he's doing and... Kind of putting yourself out on the limb. Here goes nothing. Right in there. What's your name? Shaquan. Shaquan. Hi. Devin. What's up? Apparently, you guys we, yeah, we know, know each, each other. other. So y'all know each other? And were you guys friends, or? We were pretty, we were, we were friends, yeah. Did anything ever happen? Occasionally. Oh. OK. Did you know he lives here? Yeah. You mentioned that you have one friend who lives in, this is your that friend? Yes. That's crazy. So when did you guys last see each other? Last time I came out to Vegas. August. All right, so hold on a second. Here's what I don't understand. You guys had a physical relationship. Why would you have a fake identity? I wanted to see how he was doing, but every time I try to talk to him, he doesn't respond. Is that true? Yeah. I just, yeah. You never really thought that it was a relationship there between, gotcha. Did you ever make it clear, kind of, where you were at with things? I mean, if I don't text you back, why wouldn't that give him that hint? You can't just beat a dead horse that's already dead. It's, it's up. But if the horse is dead, everybody can say the horse is dead. Sounds like Shaquan is, is saying he never got the scoop that the horse was dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I'm tired of this. 
tell us then, in your own words, what was the plan? Well, you text them to hang out as James, and then if you come to Vegas, James wouldn't show up. He probably texts me to make it here and not show up. Oh, wait a second. So you thought, I'll make a profile as this guy James. I'll invite him to come meet me in Vegas. And then when he gets here and James doesn't show up, he'll text you because he knows you live here. And you'll just sort of come to the rescue. Yeah. You had a plan, though. He that, did have a plan. I gotta tell you, that hey. is actually a decent plan. Hey, if it wasn't wrong, it's I would up. come back to you up like you thought about some stuff at least. So then wait a second. Dang, so bruh. When you made the profile, why did you choose that guy? Yari. He somebody I met. Someone you actually met? Yeah. He sent me photos of Snapchat. So then I sent those as James. Regifted. Nudes? Yeah. Wow. Do you know that Devin follows that guy on Instagram? I didn't find that out until like a week later. So it was just a total coincidence that you picked the picture of a guy that Devin actually follows on Instagram. That's crazy. I just wanted to know if he just didn't like me as a person or my face. That shouldn't matter. What you did wasn't cool and you shouldn't have lied. I understand that. At the same time, like, he likes you. Mm -hmm. And he got a chance to show you a side of him that maybe you would not have otherwise have seen that you really liked. That's, that's fine and everything, but I'm just not into him enough to be in a relationship with him. That's it. But any right person would understand that way before now. But you've been physical with him, so I can see how it could be a little confusing. But you don't say anything, I don't know anything. Still a lot to take in all at once. Right. To kind of collect your thoughts. Why don't we take a little break? We could meet back up in a little while and see if there's some resolution. That's fine. OK, I'll walk you out. What were you expecting would happen? I thought you were going to be upset, but not that upset. Did you ever get the impression that he did really like you? Yeah. I have technique just from when we first started talking of how you like, well, we can hang out, stuff like that. Well, I feel like you should, you should have like said that. I get really nervous around sometimes. All right, well, look, you deserve some kind of clarity, I think. What is it? Is it his personality? Is it the way he looks? He kind of needs a closure. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't well. his personality, that wasn't the problem. I'm just not, just not attracted to him. What else do you want me to say? Right. I'm just thinking. Not attracted to you, but I did things that I do with people I'm attracted okay. to. So that could be confusing. You can be attracted to a hooker, but that don't mean you love her. Should we go through the doggy door? I wonder if she's here yet. If we're knocking on some random person's house, I'm going to be very upset. There's another door on that side. Over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. This is weird. Hold on, what? <gasps> uh, it's her. <gasps> what? Hi. I'm Neve. Tiana. Tiana. Nice to Tammy. finally meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you know Tony? Obviously, you're you, it's you in the picture, so it's confusing to me why we're here. What's up with all of your profiles? We found like an older Facebook and a oh, couple yeah, probably Instagram Oh, yeah, from a long time ago pages. when I was younger. That's my Facebook since I've been an adult. Right. The other stuff is like when I was younger. OK, fine. And, and you have a son who's two? Yeah. And that's it, just one son? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for work? I work at a nightclub. Dancing? No, <laughs> it's like bartending and stuff. Have you ever been in the Navy? No. It does say you're in the Navy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so that was a lie. It says that because I was going to the Navy, it was a process. I never went to my boot camp. So no, my son's dad is in the military, that's why. And then do you work at Target? No. I told you I worked at Marshalls, Walmart. Maybe you're getting stuff confused because I never worked at a Target. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Siobhan? Yeah. 
Is she your roommate? Yeah. But, but on your Facebook page, you post a photo of a car. That's your car. Well, that's her car. But, but you posted it as if it, as if it was your car. car. No, my caption said, this car is popping. It said, new car popping. I guess <laughs> it's Siobhan's new car? I don't know. I mean, that's just how I talk. So did you tell Siobhan to lie to us? I mean, yeah. And why did you take a video of us talking to her? Because I just felt at the time it was extra. Like, I was not ready for that. Why? It's been two years since you first started talking to Tony. Tony, mm -mm. What is going on with you guys? Why haven't you FaceTimed? Honestly, I was going through a situation shit, but he knew about okay. that. And I was living with my son's dad. He was co-parenting. you can find five minutes to... Is this a relationship that you were serious you were serious about? It's something like... We friends. OK, but Tony describes this relationship a lot differently. So at the beginning, or at any point, did you think that this could be more than friends? Yeah, back then, yeah. So at the, towards the beginning? Yeah. But is it totally wrong of him to think that there's something between you? Yes, because I've told him about dudes that I'm talking to. I always unfriend you. I have unfriended you at least 30 Never. times. Never. What? Never. <laughs> Never. I wish I could prove it, but I can't, obviously, because we Facebook friends Never. now. Right. But Never. I have deleted you multiple, a Never. lot of times, Tony. Never. Have you flat well, out told possibly... him, like, I'm not interested, stop calling I, me, Yes, stop there have been times me. where I told Tony, stop calling me, stop texting me. Have I or have I not? You only told me one time. OK, uh, one time. And what you do? You still hit me up, right? Because if you hit me up, I call back. Oh, you hit my me God. Up. So, I, so I call you. You called me that day talking about something about something. I don't know what the you was talking about. Tony, it was a minute ago. you sound dumb. And honestly, you push it. You're extra. You're disrespectful. I mean, you said I was a thought, so. What? Nasty. You said I knew you was a thought. What was I doing to make me a thought? You talked to hella people. What you mean? <laughs> OK, but you lied about a kid. I never did lie. You told me you didn't have a kid, and then a kid just appeared on your Facebook. Wait, do you have a kid? Yeah, I got a son. What? How old is your son? One. That's something that you tell somebody that you supposedly talk to, right? I can understand being confused and a little surprised and upset to find out that a guy that I'm talking to didn't mention that he has a kid. I'm surprised that I didn't know he had a kid. Me and my baby mama wasn't talking. Me and my baby mama don't talk. We around two times, three times. Did you know that your baby mom was pregnant when she was pregnant, or did you not find out that you had a kid until after until she had after. Hold on a second. All of this is irrelevant if you don't actually have feelings for him. Well, it went out the window once he so did all did. that. Yep. So your interest in Tony was real. Yeah. But over time, you just lost interest? Yeah. Y'all don't understand. Tony can get annoying. That's like, he blows me up. And I don't like that. To be honest, I even told you I could be busy. I could be busy with my kid. When you blow me up and call me like 10 times, I just feel like you've been stalking me. Can we see some of the messages? OK. So that's Tony. Tony two times, Tony 25 times. But you're saying he, he blows you up your He phone blows up a lot. me up. He do stuff that he don't need to be doing. Like, I don't like that blowing me up stuff. I don't like that. We see the phone records. The question remains, where and who is this person? Right. You, interestingly, had mentioned that in a couple of years back, somebody was sort of messed with you. This guy, Vance. So we went to his Facebook page. One of the things he posted today is this article about me being in town. Are you serious? We thought it was interesting that someone from your past seemed to be excited that Catfish was in town. And get this, Dom told us he was stationed at Fort Bragg, just like Adonis. And look, here it also says Vance was in the military. So it's not impossible that Vance could be Adonis. But okay. that's kind of where we left things. The only way of really even figuring out who this is is to just ask them to reveal themselves. OK. So can I ask that question? Sure. What did you say? 
I said, hi, I'm Ham with me. We do know you're not the person you said you were. We would like to meet up as soon as possible. If I don't hear back from you, at least by tomorrow morning, I'll move on and just let this go. This guy sure knows how to play hard to get. All right, well, let me know, obviously, if you hear anything. And then tomorrow morning, we'll check in. And hopefully, he'll decide to meet us. OK, that'll work. Thank you, man. Check, make sure that news vans aren't on the front of the yard. <laughs> Sanford Times. Hey, Alfred. Oh, what are you doing here? Who is this? It's Antonio. I heard Catfish was in town. What do I got to do with you? Why are they here? Get in your car, go home. So are you really going to leave? Get in your car and go home. Can I talk to you over there? No, why? For five minutes. For what? So I can talk to you. I don't need airbags in my business. I don't need that. They're oh, here. Bye. Bye. No, why are they Sorry. here? Why don't, you, here? why don't you go back inside and I'll yeah, explain yeah, yeah, to yeah, Antonio yeah. what we're doing here. Huh. You're or, Antonio. Or Cammie can yeah. I'm Cam. This is what I was telling y'all about. You see what I'm saying? He's he's probably just jealous. And upset. He's always f***ing jealous. That's what I'm talking about. It is Alfred's business. But we're just, we're here to help. This is a perfect opportunity to just say, you I know what? I told y'all. I don't told need y'all. Right, but you don't need it anymore. I you told y'all. It's not your responsibility. So why don't you go out there and let him know how you feel? What do you have to say? Why are you bringing catfish out here? Am I not good enough for you? Like, why are you trying to meet somebody that you don't even know? Look at this bull you pulling right now. You hear something from Sanford, and you coming at me. We've been there for you. five years. Five years is the longest time for you to throw and it on somebody you don't even been know. You. It's been about you. But you, you don't even know this person. It doesn't It'd be matter. different if you knew that, this person, so, but you don't even know so this that's person. that's my point. So you're going to leave me over somebody that you, don't, that you don't even know. you damn right I would. That's stupid as hell. And that's crazy as what you going to do about it? You look dumb as hell. And that's fine. You right. look dumb as hell. OK. You look dumb as hell. OK. And the reason why you can't find this person is because I'm a Don this bitch. Bitch. Oh. Oh, my God. Stop, guys. No, 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 no. Kill him. Kill him, man. Kill him, kill him, kill him. please let me get him. Kill him, please, please, please. let me get him. Need, let me get him. It's not worth it. He better be lying, y'all. It's not worth it. He better be lying. He better be lying. Just hold on, hold on. Just hold on one second. He better be lying, bro. <laughs> I'm tired of him. Take a seat. Take a seat with me. Sit with me. Me. I'm tired. Let's take a second. All right. Ooh, he better be. He better be lying. We're not gonna get anywhere right now. Everyone's upset. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That shit is crazy. He's mad at me because he's been cheating on me. This is a too much. I can't talk. I'm about to go. I can't do this. Please get home safely. I am. I just want to know, is he lying? Do you want me to go ask him that? Please. Can you stay here for Find a minute? out if he's lying, please. All right, just wait for me one second right here, OK? He said he needs to leave. Did you talk to him at all? Yeah, I did, but he doesn't want to. Hey, just really fast. Is it true? You said at the very end, right before you guys started fighting, that you are Adonis. I am Adonis. That's true. That's true. So you made the profile. Yes. And it's been you talking to him the whole time. Why did you do that? I, I need a fax. In terms of him, like, I, cheating? cheating on me, so talking to other people behind my back, I need a fax. I'd like to talk about this and try to help you guys. I don't know if right now is the time to do that. Are you willing to meet up with us tomorrow? To Tomorrow, yes. Yeah, I just need this. time to just process okay. everything. Fine. So you you should go, and we'll talk hopefully tomorrow and meet up again. Okay. All right. All right. Me? Was he lying? I don't think so. I I just asked him. He said it. He that is. He made the profile. Drive, but it's good. You'll get to see L.A. L.A. Yeah. Are you nervous? Scared and nervous. Just nervous. Just nervous. <laughs> I just want answers. All right. Pretty close. There it is. Wait, this one? Yeah. This little house. It's her place. Okay. All right, let's, go. let's do it. You guys want to hang here? 
Nervous, yeah. but I'm better. absolutely yeah. also the same for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm, hi. Yeah, this is Elle. Hi, I'm yeah. Alice. And I'm Neve. Nice again. to meet you again. Nice to meet you. We're glad to be here, but also I think curious and somewhat confused. I'm also a little confused and like I didn't want to do this. I was concerned that she called you in the first place because I was like, you talk to somebody and then they don't trust who you are. It made me feel anxious. I, I get that. It wasn't that I didn't trust you, but... You need to make sure that... Yeah, you're real before I gave you all of my heart. It just, like, hurt my feelings a little bit. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna jump in. So then where does it come in that you aren't able to video chat? I just didn't think there was that much of a lack of faith in me. I didn't think that it was like she needed to verify who I was over FaceTime. I thought she just wanted to. So it was low urgency for me, sure. you know what I mean? When I'm talking to a person, I would really just rather talk instead of focusing on how I look. I completely understand. I'm not trying to blame you. I understand your anxiety over all of this. But just like one little video or something? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to defend her on this side, but I kind of do understand because we live in completely different time zones. You guys, a two hour two difference. Hour yeah. <laughs> two hours. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I've just never been, like, we don't even talk on the phone. Why did you block her on Facebook? I got incredibly anxious about this whole thing. Like, I have my own anxieties as well. Yeah, sure. I just felt like all of this didn't mean as much because of the fact that she didn't trust who I was. We spoke to your friend Maddie. Mm hmm yeah. And asked her if the phone number that Neek has for you is the same number she has for you, and she said it's not. Yeah, I have two phone numbers, so one for, like, the people that I know in real life and one for the people that I meet on role play. It helps me keep things organized. Okay, well, I have other questions, but at the same time, I like don't wanna front load this. You guys just met. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we should just like kind of check in. Mm -hmm. So if you guys could go talk, we could talk just for a minute and just kind of like go over stuff. Got you. Cool. So I'll go sit with you over here. Okay, how do you feel? A lot better. You feel a lot better? Yeah. I'm kind of like mostly satisfied with the answer she had to the questions because I kind of do understand most of them. Yeah, but I just, can I be totally honest with you? Yeah. It just feels weird. Yeah, it's exciting. She's her, she's real, she's nice, you know? But at the same time, I mean, you wrote to the show because there's a whole year where she spent kind of avoiding being real with you. And now that we're here, it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, just water on the bridge, and that never happened, never happened, never happened. I'm sensing something that's not genuine. What do you think? <laughs> it's OK. It's, um, she's really sweet. I just, I'm like, also very nervous, you know? What has been your impression of this relationship. I, I love her. I think she's like, we, I used to be romantically interested in her and we used to flirt a lot. And then I stopped feeling that way. And without addressing it really, I just kind of thought it was mutual because of her relationship with Princess and everything. Well, at least from what Neek told us, she has very strong feelings for you. Yeah. When I was saying I don't feel like TV is the best place for this, I meant it's probably not the best place for me to tell her that, like, I don't have romantic feelings. Right. I just think it'd be helpful for her if you were very clear. Remember, this whole thing, Neek, this is for you. This is your 
time to question what were her intentions. There's still some things I want and need to know. Yeah. Should I go ask her to talk to you? Yeah. There's a couple questions she wanted to ask you. Do you want to go talk to her? Yeah. Yeah, that would be fine. Can I come in? Yeah. What do you guys talk about? She was attracted physically to Nick at the beginning, but then she felt like it just sort of turned into a friendship. The main reason she didn't want to come on the show is so she didn't want to have to tell Nick in her, to her face, like, hey, I'm not into you. I've been asking you constantly to come down to Texas, but you denying each time made me feel like you didn't want to see me. I definitely wanted to see you. It's just because of your relationship with Princess, I thought it wouldn't hurt your feelings if I didn't make it down to Texas. I didn't know you were actively seeking other romantic polyamorous relationships. I just didn't think that it was as big of an issue as it was. I should have listened to what you were saying and actually taken what you were saying to heart. I do want to eventually come to California for school. If you're still in the area, would you want to be in an actual relationship with me? I don't think that's what I'm looking for. But, you know, there's so much possible in, in a few years. You know, you're not going to come down for a while, so. Yeah. <laughs> That makes me feel a little bit better. There's still some time left. It's safe to say it's been a hard year. You want to go back over there? Yeah. How'd it go? We did get a lot of things cleared up. Possibly in the future, if I'm able to come down to California, is a possibility for a romantic relationship. Really? Yeah. So it's not easy. Well, um, do you want to like, just leave it for the moment? Then we can come back later or tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bye. I feel like today it did not go as well as it could have. A lot of what I said was being misinterpreted, and I didn't really correct her because I didn't want to embarrass her. In retrospect, I should have made things clearer. Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. This is it. We're here. Well, this is the street. Ooh. So yeah, it's gonna be right around here. Mm, 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 mm. This looks familiar. Really? Yeah. Have you been here before? It, it feels so familiar. Why does this feel familiar? Well, that looks like a shop, right? Oh my God. What? This is Ricky G. Shaw. Ricky G. Raps, and he's my baby daddy's cousin. He works here. In this shop? In this shop, yes. I know it was familiar, because I remember bringing my, my kid's dad here. There's someone in there. I can see someone. The garage is, like, half open. Yeah, there's definitely someone in there. You don't know this guy, Ricky G? I don't know Ricky G. You know, in the morning, he does a song for the radio in the morning. So it would make sense that Ricky G knows a rapper. Yeah, Tipsy Twist or whatever. It sense would make that sense, they have a yeah, because he, he raps. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, let's do it then. Oh. It's crazy that you say you've been here. Like, oh, my god. Just don't be scared. <laughs> here, I'm in there. Oh, my god. Open-minded. Hello. What's up? Hey, man. What the f Are you serious? What? Trez, really? You been behind this the whole time? Why y'all bring her? Wait, who is Trez? That's my baby daddy. It what you no mean, way. who is that? I ain't no way. How the f could you do this to me? Oh, uh, that's no. Trez! No, are y'all in on this? What you mean, in on what? You really think I'm finna set you up like that? What the f? No, somebody you in on this. You already know I don't even do 
like this. No, Clearly, this is no, so, not no, something that no you way guys that can were be it. in on no. together. So let's not let this get between you guys. No, it, it's going to be between us. Because how does who is Tres? Well, she, you don't know this guy, but apparently they had a kid together. So you have a child. Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm through with this. Wow. I don't want nothing else to do with this. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. That was messy. Why y'all bring my baby to mama, man? The whole time he been doing this to her. I had no idea that that was what was happening here. Hold, hold on a second. That's like, I really don't believe that it. So obviously this is this awkward, turning into a much bigger situation than we could have anticipated. So that's Aisha's. I'm going to go talk to Aisha. Yeah, let's figure this out. The whole time, the whole time, you sat there and you lied to her. And then when it come to me getting into a relationship with somebody, you come and you run away. But you don't want me to be with nobody else but you. Hey, hold on, hold on. No, what hold do you on, mean? I need an explanation. What the Let's not make this You don't fall all my ass for friends, supposed, and you done did all this like that. and then you had this lie go on for three years. Wasn't he supposed to be like that? It wasn't what supposed you mean to be like it that wasn't supposed to be like that, Trey? It wasn't supposed it's to be like crazy, that It's crazy, but I'm the one who, who's going through this, and y'all arguing. You done ran off all my ex-boyfriends. You don't want me to be with nobody but you. You got a boyfriend. Man, I'm so over this. I can't believe you did this to me. It wasn't Man, like that. Like oh, hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Take me home! I, this is a, obviously some drama between them that we we didn't know yeah, what was going on. Put in. Step in the car with me for a second. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is happening right now. The whole time. Why have you been talking to her with this other guy's picture for the last three years and avoiding her all this time? I met her through her. I ain't wanted to be like this. I ain't wanted to be messy. I didn't want it to be no messy situation. Well, that's my kid's dad. Which kid? My son, my eight, my seven-year-old son. I can't keep no boyfriend because every time I get into a relationship, here he come running them away. He don't want me to be with nobody else but him. But every time I turn around, it's a new bitch in the picture. So you met because of Aisha, and you liked her. Yeah. But you couldn't really pursue yeah. her because of your previous yeah. relationship. Yeah. I don't even know who he is. I never we seen met, him. We met at a party about three years ago, October. And so we had, it was the little Halloween party. Do you remember being here for Halloween a couple years ago? I was ago? right before I moved to Washington. We wasn't even really properly introduced, but I, I thought, I, I kind of thought we, we liked each other. So you were you into know, her? It wasn't even supposed to be like this. I was going, I was just really just trying to holler and. <laughs> That's bull. That's really I'm sorry. bull. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. It who wasn't does, supposed to like, go this long. I was going to come right out and tell you who I was. I was going to come right out and tell you who I was off the bat. And then it hurt me, because that's my friend, T.T. You know that time this girl don't told me she don't fell in love with the person she texting on the phone and come find out it's my baby daddy? Now she looking at me like, I got something to do with this. Like, come on now. You know, we brought Aisha because they're good friends. Yeah. And Aisha's sort of been there for her this whole time. Listen, man. And How I understand that you, the whole reason you wanted to sort of use this fake name was to avoid exactly. this mess. But exactly. Maybe you didn't Happen think anyway. things through. I, I, I mean, eventually, anyway. she, you know, I don't, I don't she was to gonna you. find out. Yeah. I was gonna tell them. I was gonna tell them. It wasn't never supposed to go this far, especially when they started getting close, you know. Just, I had, seemed like I had to keep on stretching the lie out. He helps me. He takes care of my other kids that's not his. But the fact that I don't want to it's talk not to just him. no boy, this not just no boyfriend that I've been with for a year and a half. I have been dealing with this man for almost eight or nine years. Like eight Here or I nine am years. Hi, my daughter. He's saying he got multiple kids. He has like, eight what kind kids. Of bull is this? Had you ever? See, see, I feel like I owe you an apology, but at the same time, I knew nothing of this. I'm in love with who? My baby daddy. You're in love with my son's dad. <laughs> Let's go check in on Kailani, see how she's doing. Oh! oh we're, get, we're getting, what, where's the phone? Oh, it's Kailani. Hello? Sam just called me. He told me he was on his way. Was, uh, on his way to where? He took an Uber, and he's driving towards the house. Jesus. Uh, okay, well, we're just leaving the hotel, so we'll just get over there quickly. I, I really don't want to meet him alone. No, 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 we'll be there soon. Okay. Bye. Whoa. All of a sudden, that's weird. Ubering. That's weird. 
We better get there fast. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I, he's on his way there. If he gets there before us, we could be in big trouble. I wish we had a siren. I know, we need a catfish Put up siren. on the roof. We got here pretty quick. Kailani, is he here? No. Okay. Oh, you scared me. We thought maybe he would get here before us. Okay. How so, you doing? Oh my god, like I'm really nervous. So now. what what did he say? He said, I'm on my way. I'm taking an Uber to come see you. I'm driving to your house an right Uber now. An Uber from where? From where? He didn't tell me where he was. Because I'm in an Uber. He's like, I'm in an Uber. Okay, wait, so hold on a second. Let's sit down and, and go over this. Were you like, what? Yeah. I mean I was I was shocked. I told him I talked to Dominic. Whoa. He was just like, okay. Like, he, he didn't care. He wasn't trying to explain or say, I really have feelings for you or anything like that? No, just that he wants to see me and he's on his way. Well, that's alarming. If he was being a dick and being aggressive and wasn't apologizing, it's like, I'm on my way to see you, I know where you live, like, that's not good. It's a little creepy. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know anything about this guy. Right. Seriously, this is... Scary. You he knows your address because you sent, sent him me, He sent me letters right, and things right. in the mail. You wanna go outside? Yeah. It's just frightening that he knows where you live. I'm just gonna look and see if anyone's coming down the street. It's been a few minutes. Oh wait, here's an Uber, guys. Is that an Uber? That is an Uber. Oh. It's stopping. I think this is him, guys. Someone's getting out. Someone's getting out. Sam? Sam? Yeah. yeah. Do you know this person? No. Who are you? I'm Sam. Yeah, OK. Yeah. And where are you from? Monterey. You are from Monterey. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? I'm 19. So that stuff was true? Yeah. Did you go to school with Dom? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, I've been around him through a mutual friends. But you've never actually met him? No. Nah. And how long have you been pretending to be him? Pretty much just a year. Just a year? Yeah. So what that you told me is true? Pretty much, basically everything. Just not the person in the pictures. Why don't you kind of just tell us your side of this? And just kind of take, take us back and kind of explain how this happened, how you, you guys started met. the profile. I mean, this isn't an excuse, but like in high school, I got made fun of a lot because I have feminine features. So I wanted to know like, if I was different, more manly looking and everything, like how would people accept me differently? What was your intention with Kailani? Uh, I never actually thought I would get that far. You knew what she was going through with a guy who had lied to her and led her on and deceived her and sort of put her through hell. Yeah. And while, yes, you were there and supportive, you knew that eventually she would find out and that it would only hurt her even more. And that's why, like, I couldn't really tell her, you know? Like, I didn't, I didn't know how to tell her on top of everything else that she's been going through. You've been leading me on this whole time. No, I actually got really strong feelings for you. What about Adriana? You got real feelings for her also? Adriana wasn't anything compared to how I talked to Kailani. And what about Melvin? It's just sort of like testing, I guess, the waters. But I, I don't I don't do that. Have you ever had a relationship with a man? No. Nah. I never meant to hurt you, because I really do care about you. I really do. I do love you. It's really hard for me to believe that when you were telling Adriana that you cared about her as well. But I cared about her as like a friend. Like, I don't even know her that long. Like, I mean, you don't even know her in person either. Yeah. But like, I don't have feelings for her like that. I'm gonna go 
inside with Colleen for a second, chat, okay. sort of check in, give you a second also to like, because I know this is a lot. So let's just take two seconds, sort of reset. Do you want to stand out here just to hang for sure, a second? Sure, yeah, yeah. All right, All right we'll, be, we'll just give us a minute. Do you want to sit here? Yeah. All right. It's a little confusing. He's been telling these lies and avoiding this issue for so long now. He's just not comfortable at saying what's true. He knew what I was going through, but yet he couldn't just tell me. Right. But when I called him going through my divorce, he continued to make me believe that that was him. So that's messed up, that he kept lying. Hey, yeah. Scared. It's because I know I hurt you. You really love her? Yeah. I never wanted to hurt her, even though I knew what I was doing was wrong. Yeah, like. <sighs> so I think the best thing to do now is to go our separate ways, process this, and then meet up tomorrow. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Good to meet you. Appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you too.